Sure. They may be pampered little entitled upstarts. But we all have to get along, okay? those chickens that were born right at the first of the year. While our lives have been disrupted by the storm and we've had new baby goats to take care of, these little chickens have been quietly growing up in our Mini Cooper mobile chicken coop. They were growing up quietly. Just the other morning I heard one of the little pullet roosters crowing. Normally, I would have integrated these five chickens with the main flock well before now. They are about three and a half months old. I've just been a little busy doing some other things. Let's take another look at how those chickens are doing. Those early morning clips were a little bit dark.
the chickens into the main coop tonight when it gets dark. I'm not too worried about the new chickens getting picked on because they are a pretty good size right now. Because I am integrating a few new roosters, I will have to keep a close eye on things. If they fight too much, we may have to end up eating one or two of our roosters. Okay chickens, I want you all to know that we've got five very special new flock members coming in for you. Almost all of you were raised by us from chicks. Some of you were even hatched here with our own incubator. Well, these are the very first chickens hatched here at Ivy Acres from eggs laid right here at our homestead. I don't want you to bully them. There's no reason, no reason at all to feel threatened or inferior. Sure, they may be pampered little entitled upstarts. But we all have to get along, okay? Listen, I know how you feel. I was adopted too, just like you were. I just want you to know that you're every bit as valuable to us as those new chickens could ever be. So let's just all be one big happy family, okay? The five chickens are not being picked on too much, and the roosters are all getting along well enough right now. I may have waited too long to socialize them with the other chickens, however. The new chickens really stick together and hardly ever leave the chicken coop to explore their chicken run. I'm a little worried because that's where I keep their water, but I'm sure they'll figure everything out and get a little more comfortable soon enough. There is another reason we needed to move our newer chickens in with the rest of the flock. Actually, there's 15 reasons. Wendy decided to get 15 Cornish cross chicks and soon enough they'll need to be living in the Mini Cooper mobile chicken coop. These chickens are the breed that we're all familiar with for meat at the grocery store. We will be raising them ourselves for meat, not for eggs, so they will never need to be integrated with the rest of our chickens.
We've had them for about a week, and they're pretty hardy. None of them have died as chicks yet. They do eat a lot more and grow a lot faster than the other chickens we've had. Let's take one last look at how these chickens grew up.